Hello, my name is Nakia, and I'll define elements of design in the decorator's voice. I'm a certified interior decorator, fashion organizer, and planning and productivity strategist. And today is day 20 of Vlogmas. So today we are going to clean my daughter's room. And this is something I have to do often because they are four and seven and they don't understand how you have to clean up every day. And sometimes we just can't do it. Yesterday we had an event at school for after school, so we didn't get a chance to do it. So your assignment in. He always wants to. Okay, they see you. They see you. <laughs> okay, so we have. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. So today we are going to reset their room. We're gonna get it back to how it's supposed to be. Now this is something that I have to do like every couple days, every two or three days, because if I let it pile up a week or so, the room will be a nightmare. It will be a tornado. Now you will notice that their beds are somewhat semi quasi made. Well, they do make their beds up every day and they're very proud of the way <laughs> Oh, the way they make their beds up. That is this Simon. If you can see him, he is just doing the most. So they are very proud of the way they make their beds. And I let them because they are learning. You know, they are four and seven. So this is something that they have to learn how to do. So I typically do not change the way their bed looks. I let them make their bed up. They have their dolls. Sometimes they put toys up there. And they're really proud of it. So if you have a child and if they do something like sweep the floor and it's not the best job, it, it only gets better with practice. So definitely let them, you know, make their bed up, let them sweep the floor, wipe off the table. And I mean, it's just, everything is just a learning experience. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's tackle this room. Okay, so as you see, this is the girls' room. They both have two twin size beds. And like I mentioned before, I let them make their beds themselves. That way they can have some type of sense of responsibility. And then they also are proud of it. But as you can see, their room is just a total disaster. They have toys over the place. There's clothes. Their little kitchen area is a mess. Now there is a basket of clothes. I will take full responsibility for the basket of clothes. But other than that, everything else is just them not putting things away. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and get started, get cleaned up. Because I cannot stand looking at their room like this. So what I always do when I start working with their room is putting everything in the middle. Now this may not be the best way to start cleaning, but hey, this is what works for me. So I go through and I just get everything and put in the middle, all the solid surfaces, clothes, toys, water bottles, trash, whatever it is, I make a big pile in the middle of the floor. And basically the whole room is clean except for that pile in the middle of the floor. So I go through and decide what I'm going to do with those items. Some of the items are dirty clothes, some of them are towels, a lot of it's trash. If it's a toy that's missing some pieces or whatever, I'm going to throw it in the trash. I'm going to put a lot of their food in the kitchen, like the little plate food goes in the kitchen. Now there is a basket in front of their kitchen with all their cosplay things. I'm going to move that and put it in their armoire next to their beds. And you will also see that I have their mirrors just kind of sitting on the nightstand or the desk, but that is something that I'm gonna work on. Um, for Christmas, they are getting new bedding, so they're gonna have a whole new room, and I'm gonna hang their pictures on the wall, and then also work on, um, you know, the mirrors, hang the mirrors, and have their new bedding, so it could be more of like a big girl room instead of the way it is right now. But, you know, I have to work on this rug. This rug drives me crazy. I'm working on the rug. I'm fixing their bed. I'm just tidying their bed just a little bit, not as much as it was before. But I'm just going to tidy it up, um, do some vacuuming, do some light dusting. Now, this isn't like the major clean that we normally do. This is just something that I have to do, like a reset to get the room back in order, you know, every two or three days because they just seem to have a hard time. So this is pretty much it. This whole ordeal took 40 minutes. Yes, 40 minutes of my time. And now this is what it looks like. Now, the you will see the cosplay basket right there, but I am going to move that and put it in the armor. But all of their food and all those little tiny toys are in that corner. I did fix their bed a little bit because it was kind of wonky a little bit, so I just kind of fixed it. But they probably won't even notice. Like, they'll see their little toys and think everything is fine. And, um, like I said, I got rid of all the 
extra whatnot papers and, and trash and different things like that. This is the baby's bed or Bailey's bed. She has like her little stuff there as well. So they're not going to notice that I like completely changed it. But yeah, this is it. This is how their room is supposed to look. Now this isn't like a major clean. This is just something that I do every two or three days just so it won't get too overwhelming. So this is it. Um, when they come up from school, they'll see it and they'll be happy. Now, another thing I decided to do was we do the whole elf on the shelf thing. So I went ahead and put the Christmas tree that I got from Hobby Lobby for $5.99. I put it in their room and they're going to be so excited when they wake up and see it. I initially was going to put it in the kitchen area since I moved the cosplay basket. But, you know, this is in the middle of the night when I put it in there and I didn't want the kids to wake up. And I thought, hey, this area would be better. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's Chippy, my uh, elf. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And stay tuned for the rest of the vlog once I still have four more days. Thank you very much and goodbye.